What is going on, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and today I want to give you guys my thoughts of the news last night that Deuce McBride has got an extension. Three years, $13 million after the Knicks obviously make that blockbuster trade with R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel quickly going to the Toronto Raptors. It kind of shifts things up for the New York Knicks in the rotation. And we know that the Knicks, they're losers of the last three games. They gave up 140 points to the Indiana Pacers last night, losing 140 to 126. The Knicks are now 17 and 15. And I feel like I just wanted to make this video to give you guys my thoughts of what the rotation can look like, especially off the bench for Deuce McBride, because I think them giving Deuce a big extension that tells me that the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau really look at Deuce McBride as the player that can step in for Emmanuel quickly because we all know IQ was the backup point guard, the sixth man off the bench for these New York Knicks. Now, I am not expecting Deuce to replace Emmanuel quickly at all. He is not even close to the same talent offensively. But what Deuce McBride can bring to this Knicks team is some defensive intensity. That's what Deuce brings. Tom Thibodeau loves Deuce, and this may be an opportunity for Deuce McBride to get a significant role off the bench. Now, when I say significant role, I'm not saying 25, 30 minutes. I'm saying around 15, 20 minutes per game. He played around 18 minutes last night and put up five points against the Pacers. Nothing too crazy. But I do think that it is interesting that the Knicks wanted to lock him up long term after this trade went down from these New York Knicks. Now, Monday night is where we can expect the Knicks to have their brand new players and OG Onanobi, Precious Achua, and then Malachi Flynn is that last guy I kind of want to bring up because Malachi Flynn is a backup guard just like Deuce McBride. So is Malachi Flynn going to be flipped for another trade? Or maybe he's the guy that's going to be plugged in in the rotation off the bench for these New York Knicks. I really do believe that. And if you look at even the game last night against the Pacers and what the Knicks have been struggling with, Ever since Mitchell Robinson went down, it's obvious. It's defense. I mean, they gave up 140 points to the Pacers. And I know the Pacers are one of the best, if not the best, offensive teams in the entire NBA. But giving up 140 points in the NBA, that is not a good thing. And Deuce McBride brings defensive intensity. And, of course, the Knicks getting OG on an OB. That tells you they're really trying to prioritize the defensive side of the ball. OG is a former All-NBA uh, defensive team, second team, I believe. And he's a top-five wing defender. So the Knicks are really trying to prioritize the defense. Precious Achua is also a pretty good rim protector and a versatile defender in the front court. And now then extending Deuce McBride, that just screams defense. And I think the Knicks are trying to get back to their roots and really try to build around this team. And the Knicks got a big game tomorrow night. We shall see what happens. But listen, the Knicks are losers of three in a row. And this trade is very interesting. And it's been around 24 or so hours since that trade went down. Last night's game was frustrating, uh, seeing the Knicks kind of crumble and watching the Pacers just completely light us up. And uh, it was really frustrating. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Deuce McBride, extended long term. Does that mean anything? Or does this mean like he's not even going to do anything because he would be riding the bench? Let me know your thoughts. Let's go Knicks.